Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 2 0 IQJ. Check it out, I've got another radio to play with in the shack and this is a HF SDR transceiver. Last week we looked at dirt cheap PMR. That was £17 delivered. As soon as I get that programmed up, I can then go and do some tests. That cheap PMR versus a Florian PMR. What one do you think is going to be better? Put it in the comments below. But this radio is a HF SDR transceiver. And I got this from eBay. I won it the other Sunday, a couple of weeks ago. £310 I think it was, I uh, won it on a Sunday and it came on the Wednesday and I've seen these go for over £400 from the Shenzhen market in China and I think, I've been thinking to myself, shall I get one? And I thought, well I'll wait to see if I can get one from the UK and I won it, it's a couple of months old, so let's open the box up and I'll show you what we've got in the box and then we'll plug it in to the aerial and see who's about on the bands. So if we open the box up, we've got ourselves a patch cable and it's got a PL259 and a BNC plug on there. We've got ourselves a cap and an Allen key. Got ourselves the microphone as well. And the microphone itself is saying Yesu. It's got a jack on the end of that. But I don't think it is Yesu because you compare it to a proper Yesu microphone. There is one. Here's one. And you see the quality is a lot different. So there's a proper Yesu microphone. And that is an MH36, and that's the cheaper one I got with it. I might try this microphone actually on my handheld radios, see if that works. But yeah, it's the microphone I got with it. And here is the radio itself, check it out. It's the tiny rig. And this does 15, up to 15 watts, you've got, I think you've got 10 watts and 5 watts. We've got the touch screen there, and for all your 11 meter aficionados, this will TX out of band, no modification needed, it's just there in the settings. You've got your buttons here, there's your main dial, and the Allen key is to tighten up the grub screw because this kept falling off. On the side here, you've got your aerial USB host DFU, not sure what that does. I might just try to plug a flash drive in and see what happens. DFU, I think that's connected to the computer, I haven't tried that yet. On the other side, you've got phone, microphone. ACC, a key switch, input for your uh, voltage, um, power supply. I did get a power supply with it, but I'm going to be using it on this one. The power supply I got with it is like a laptop supply. Where is it? One of these generic ones that came with it just to fire it up. Won't be using that on this. I should be using my uh, proper power supply in the shack, so I won't be using that one. You've also got your line in and your line out. This will apparently decode Morse code, so I'll be playing with that at some point. And at the back here, there's your speaker, and you've got your these two grub screws. You turn, then the stand comes out. You can then tighten it back up. And then you can rest it on the desk there. And you've also got your TX and RX lights there. There's your band switch and there's your power switch. So let's uh, plug all this in. Here's a touch screen as well, so let's plug all this in and see if anyone's about on the bands. Okay, so I've got it connected to my Linko power supply using the pigtail that I've got. And I've also got it plugged into the 11 meter antenna just so we can receive for the purposes of this video. Two hard drives are in place to stop the radio falling off the desk because it is a bit light and this cable tends to pull the radios off the desk. So let's fire it up and I'll zoom in and we'll see what's about on the bands if anything. I'm filming this on a Sunday night around about 9 o'clock. So the band's going to be possibly quiet. Let me zoom in. See there, you can tell you your software version. UHSDR and there's a software version. You can change the band by using the up and down arrows. You can change the mode by using the mode button there. DSP, because it's got filters. There's your PA, I'm not sure what that does. I know it's not a public address, it's something else. You've got your bandwidth, RIT, RF gain, AF, audio frequency. And if you want to TX out a band, Press F1, we zoom in, and where it's got a configuration menu, use the second dial, and then show it, and it says TX out of band, and mine's set to off. You can set it on if you want to, I'm leaving mine as off, so let's go exit, and zoom out. When you TX out of band, yes, it will transmit on 11 meters, but I'm not doing that for this video. You got your steps, up and down, Change frequency steps. AF is the volume audio frequency. 
you can see there, I think they've got some morse coming through on 40 meters. You can change the mode. So now we're on, what mode are we on? Carrier wave. We've got AM, FM, lower sideband, carrier wave. And we should be able to hear that a bit clearer on the carrier wave. See, they've got loads of interference coming through, loads of QRM on the band. Let's see if we can hear anyone talking. There you go. There was, was someone there a minute ago. Okay, someone called in CQ. Yankee United 1, X-ray, calling CQ. I'll find out where he is um, when I uh, go to edit the video. And to change your band, use the band here so we can go up. So 10 megs, so 10.100. That was a RITI frequency I was using just to test if it decodes RITI. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't decode RITI, but because it's been an SDR, you might be able to update with, with uh, more features to make it decode RITI. So it's 20 metres. See there, there there's a dodo on the band at the moment. Go up again, 18 megs, 21, that's uh, 15 metres, uh, 24 megs, that's 12 metres, go up again. Does 10 meters, and you can also do 11 meters there as well if you need to. Up again, you do commercial broadcasts. And if you've got, if you ever buy a, a HF radio and you want to test it, don't matter how much it costs you, if it costs you two grand, three grand, there's one frequency you must always test it on just to make sure that it works. And uh, if Robert's watching, you know what I'm doing. Five. There we go. We're testing it across the bands. It's receiving nicely. See, I've just bought a 300 pound receiver just to receive Tony Blackburn. There we go. Anyway, it was a quick look at this uh, HF band transceiver. When the weather gets a bit better, I'm going to go out and about and do some tests with it. I want to plug it into the Pro Whip or the Ampro 20 on the back of the bike. If I can do stateside on the uh, 5 watts, 15 watts, because this does 15. It does uh, 10 and 5 watts, I think it does 0.5 watts as well, I don't know, I'm still playing with it. Loads of features in there that I haven't gone, gone through yet. Um, if I can do states on 5 watts, there should be no problems on the 15 watts, and it will work off on them drone batteries as soon as I get my backside into gear and solder one of the connections up for the X, one of these connections onto the uh, pigtail. Right, let's like say thank you very much for watching, I'll catch you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ. Thanks for watching, 7 Freeze. Yeah, listen to Tony Blackburn.